What's up you guys, Tommy Shaw here and today's channel what I'll be doing is how banks will make more money with delayed mortgages. Okay, if you don't pay your mortgage, I was thinking about that this morning, people stop making their payments but the interest is still charged and it's added on your mortgage. If you stop paying for four months, the interest gets accumulated and if you don't make a lump sum payment before the mortgage starts to repay itself, you have to add that on your mortgage. I was thinking about that. They're asking for money right now. Why? They're asking money from central banks, the Fed. They're asking, the banks are asking money because they say they're unable to make these payments to the MBS which investors hold. Like what happens is that when you take a mortgage with the bank, automatically the bank sells that mortgage to an investor and it goes into an MBS goes into a mortgage backed securities and these investors are still asking for their money so if you stop making money banks still have to pay these loans these mortgage backed which are bonds coupons okay and if you pay your loan faster while well, they don't transfer that money directly they keep that money that's why they want you to pay your mortgage faster so they can lend out that money again because as soon as you made the mortgage it's already gone. It's already out the window. So that's why they're saying you could save this much money if you hurry up and pay your mortgage. All right. So right now they're saying they're having a liquidity crisis. Okay, for sure. If uh, if 500,000 people stop paying or maybe more, of course banks are gonna have a liquidity crisis. But the only problem that I'm seeing is that the Fed is sending money to the banks, and then they're sending the interest or the coupons to these mortgage backed securities while you're still charged with that interest. So that means the banks are essentially making two times the money. Okay? Just thinking about it logically, because the interest rate is still there, they're not getting the money right away, but they're getting the money from the Fed. And all these MBS, when they're, they, they're considered junk bonds or considered crap, what happens is that the Fed buys them. Anything that's not good in the market, the Fed will buy these mortgage-backed securities, they'll buy treasuries mortgage-backed securities, and now they're even thinking about buying the capital markets. While well, these banks are also in the start market. So essentially, they're going to invest in these large cap companies. These large cap companies are in the capital markets with their shareholders, stocks, equity, so essentially, they're getting liquidity, they're getting low interest costs, they're getting the mortgage-backed securities which are crapped uh, on the Fed's balance sheet, and the Fed is also going to start buying capital markets. So they're everywhere. Anybody who's in the stocks and st uh, stuff right now, this bank is, is essentially receiving three times the money. You're getting $2,000, but who's making money here? Somebody's making money. Of course, you don't have to pay your loan. And of course, it's still a good deal because if you don't have to pay 2%, 3% on your mortgage and it gets added on your mortgage and you only have to pay it for the rest of the loan, it's still a lot better than if you were to borrow from your credit card at 20% or maybe a student loan debt or maybe something uh, like a, a personal loan at a 7%, it's still better to take this method. The only thing that I think it's unfair is that why is the Fed or central banks everywhere? They're in the financial market, they're in the liquidity market through repo, the repo operations, and now they're buying these MPS. So if you look at that, the money gets in shares and stocks, so it gives a good balance sheet. They're giving liquidity, and then they're buying these bad loans. So they're essentially buying the debt, they're essentially giving equity, and they're essentially giving liquidity. Okay, unless I'm not seeing the big picture here, or maybe I got this, of course, is only an opinion. This does, this does not mean that I'm 100% right, but if anybody can confirm what I'm saying or might give me a little bit of light on, on the scenario that I'm not seeing, you can comment down below and tell me, Tommy, that this is, 
you got the big picture right but there's a little factors that are not essentially a hundred percent you can write it down below and it's only gonna help me help you and everybody get to know this information it's gonna make it easier for us to understand what's going on okay so you're still making these payments the bank is still you're not making these payments but they're still charging interest the Fed is giving liquidity giving it to the MBS the coupons the, co the investors are happy anything that's bad goes on to the Fed's balance sheet the Fed is going to start buying some equities and it's going to prop up this this banking system so it looks like a socialist for the, these big companies while the small companies that are, are under 10,000 are receiving only loans these are receiving capital they're receiving they're taking off these mortgage-backed securities which are considered junk and the small businesses are only receiving loans okay so I'm gonna wrap it up on this video if you like this kind of information uh, you feel like subscribing and I'll be seeing you on the next video thank you